to construct a rhombus given the diagonal and one side one of the characteristics of a rhombus is that all the sides are the same length so step number one similar to the parallelogram a baseline i draw a baseline on this baseline now I want to set off the length of one side and the length of one side is 45 so I said that's 10 20 30 40 45 all right the length of the diagonal is equal to 55 millimeters so I will open my compass now to 55 millimeters I will adjust it's 50 54 there we go 55 millimeters all right so with radius 55 I want to set my compass here on the second point and on this side on my left hand side I want to scribe an arc bigger because we don't know where the 45 would be so once we have set that diagonal I want now to position my compass at this point which is the first point and open to radius 45 okay which is the length of one side once I've established that distance I want to scribe an arc want to scribe an arc to intersect the diagonal once I've obtained that point I will then now given that the characteristic of a rhombus as me mentioned first all the sides are of same length so this is 45 so I position my compass with that radius at this point point where these two arcs intersected and I want to scribe another arc here 45 same process but this time we move on to the second point here below position my compass and i scribe another one there we go given that i know the four points i can darken now to get the rhombus We then add, I will use, because, because I use the outline here, well, let me, let me, um, let me set up the guidelines for the letters. I was going to use the same reference here, but because probably you don't have a set square, uh, sorry, a T-square, and this might not work for you, so I will start from scratch, okay? Okay, so I go ahead, and if you have noticed, it is uh, the same pencil I've been using. So the technique is don't press too much when you're drawing at first, that would produce construction lines. And then at the end, you can start darkening to produce the object lines. You need to try your best to be as accurate as possible. And then the lettering is A, B, C, D. Then you write a rhombus given the diagonal
and one side. Okay, that is the construction of our rhombus. Thank you guys for following.